Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsasty, and welcome back to Badless Factory, where our supply of green circuits is still not run out. But on the uh, whole, uh, we made quite a bit of uh, progress. Um, we also have a bit of copper wire still sitting there. But the new setup is ready. We do have a uh, new setup for red circuits. We have uh, machines moved, engines. Uh, well, the old one is still producing and being picked up. Uh, we do have the uh, inserters over here and somewhere close by yeah there we have the new setup for the belts so today i want to actually go ahead and redo the science production uh, but i think first as we have rushed through all the uh, uh, blue and uh, military signs, we now can have personal um, construction robots, we can have laser turrets, um, so let's try get a bit of those because construction robots might make the life so much easier when it comes to um, to building things so for that we need a few uh, robot frames we need uh, the electric engines and for that we need lubricant so we will redesign this here and probably what we should tackle also pretty soon is we need more oil. But let me grab a few more resources and then we can see uh, what we can do as a hack solution so we can stand around lazily and let the robots do the work. I have put in a bit more copper and iron so we get a few more batteries that we will need along the way. And then the next step is actually, uh, let's have here to uh, tanks and let's have here two tanks and then let's change that recipe to the new one and we will need to deal with some uh, cracking of the of the fluids but we will get to that uh, maybe not just now because um, first we need lubricant uh, and we make that as we just saw out of heavy oil there we go put that in here and then we can have this here. And let's do it that way. We are missing water here, that's why nothing happens. We have 
water right there so that's an easy fix yes and that means we get a bit of uh, of uh, lubricant there so then let's also fetch a few green circuits and some engines uh, and I left my uh, car somewhere. Here it is. So let's grab four from here. On this side, we have considerably less. Then grab ourselves also some engines so we can make flying robo frames uh, fill in a bit of coal as we always do when we see we have run out Yeah, and that already happened a few times. So this rail network and uh, driving through it by car does not go well together. So let's put that in here. And then Um, we built those there. Do it this way. There we need a few more green circuits. Um, steel and batteries. The batteries we are already producing. So let's let them stack up a bit. And then you can see one, two, three, four. What we also need is we do have this modular armor. We actually want this one. For that, we need a few processing units. Processing units we need quite a few green circuits and a few red ones so let's see let's nip them out of here and then go up to here where we have sulfuric acid um, we probably also need a bit of power and put some in um, while we're up here let's also grab the batteries So we can add them here, the batteries, oh, and the green circuits. Um, then we also need, once we have the flying robot frames, the construction robots that's the easy thing what we also need is the uh, uh, personal robot ports and we also want to have uh, 
the laser laser defense for that we need laser turrets and lightweight low density structure so where is the laser turret that also needs batteries so we need quite a few batteries um, and we need a few low density structures for that we will need a bit of plastic quite a bit of uh, copper and a bit of steel so i think that i will craft by hand let a bit of time pass so we can get the uh, batteries and um, the other goodies that we need and then we can hopefully build ourselves a better armor equipped with robots and or uh, the uh, laser defense so oh yes let's do that and uh, then we will meet again once i am uh, fully equipped our armor is full with quite a bit of solar panels some batteries uh two robo ports however the robo ports are turned off and uh, three personal la four laser personal personal, per bleh, personal laser defense and with that we should be in a good situation to tackle um, enemy bases but for now i think we should tackle first um, science and we so maybe let's put the uh, the signs that we have there aside uh, so we can reconstruct the factory in place um, while we then in the end we can add the red science bottles back it's not that much that we have here and i think we should have two trains uh, per science so that one train can actually uh, load at the the science station and one train unloading at the um, lab station uh, that's way more comfortable than uh, what we had before um, okay those chests were a tiny bit full So let's help out there. Okay, let's also pick these two signals up. And then we have a blueprint, hopefully. Yes, that should do. and let's remove this lower part here because we are not yet ready 
um, for the roundabouts down here first we should replace green science as well but with uh, personal roboports and construction robots should not be uh, that big of an issue however here we have to set up all the uh, things uh, that we want and I think here we should go for 4,000. That's half a train full. Then here as well. And then this one would be... 4,000 as well. Right? And this um, is red science. And the stations should be called. What should the stations be called? Red science pickup. These ones. Red science pickup. Nice. And this one would then be red science delivery. Okay. It looks like I am missing out on a, on a few things that I can grab. And this is so much easier now. Set up the recipes. Let's copy that to here, to there, don't need that, and to here, don't need that as well. Okay. And let me grab the missing few pieces and then uh, I think I can tackle the other science stations as well. Uh, and uh, adding, hmm. And adding uh, a few more trains. So we have two trains per per science and yeah let's put science back in and then we might be able to go for a run against aliens and try out our new armor see if it uh, holds up and here we are at the base i do have a bit of uh, equipment in here uh, but i think uh, the the laser defense they take quite a bit of power so I'm not sure how long I can actually um, sustain any attack. So I will have a bit of a fallback position here. And I actually do not have any exoskeletons uh, in there. Um, 
So uh, I cannot outrun them, but it looks like uh, the the laser uh, defense is quite good at uh, dealing even with the with the blue biters. And we already have some nests down, some worms down. Uh, I always can grab a few uh, uh, fishes to get me through the, the sticky bits here. And that's it. Now. That was way easier than I uh, hoped. We did not even need this fallback position back here. And if we look at the map, and we can see everything that we have uncovered. Well, well down here there is another nest. And probably in this area there might also be a few. But that was really the closest to our uh, pollution. And we are on a good way with the uh, science production setup to have everything in the new setup um, for the next episode. Which means we are at the end of this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did so, uh, please consider leave a like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any uh, comments, ideas, please leave them as comments down below. Uh, so I can get to them as soon as possible. So until next time, goodbye.